Hi there, welcome to Smart Quiz Builder. My name is Veena Prashan. In this video, I'll show you how you can use SQB's calculator feature to do all kinds of complex calculations. SQB comes with an intuitive calculator that will allow you to give your leads a personalized response based on their answer choices. In this video, I'll take you behind the scenes to show you how you can create a calculator using SQB. I'll also give you an example of a calculator that I created using SQB. So let's take a look. All right, so let's build a calculator. So this is the back end of SQB. This is the Manage Quizzes page. Here you will find all of your quizzes and calculators. If you want to add a new one, just click on this button here. Use a pre-built template. Currently, we don't have a pre-built template for calculators, but we'll be adding one soon. At the time of this recording, we don't have one, but it'll be there soon. What you can do is just click on Create from Scratch to add a calculator. So when you click on this, it will bring you here. And here, give your calculator a name, description, and make sure to select calculator, right? So the type of quiz is calculator. So now let me show you how I created my calculator and how I have uh, set it up. So the name of the calculator is uh, online course revenue calculator description and the type is calculator. Now display settings, I'm not going to go over this in detail because this is all the same for different types of quizzes and uh, calculators, it's the same setting. Slide in animation is enabled. Show the start screen, yes. Lead generation screen, yes, I want people to opt in to be able to see the final result. Connect with your platform. By default, SQB adds the users to WordPress and you will find all your leads in the SQB leads page, reports page right here. But uh, if you want to connect SQB to your email platform, you can do that too. Start screen here. You can see this is how it's going to look. Now, if you do not want to display a start screen and directly want to send users to the question screen, you can turn off the start screen right here. You can turn it off. But I want to display the start screen, so I have enabled it. And you can see here, everything is click and edit. You can change, right? So it's exactly like how you would create a quiz. Nothing different here. Question screen. This is a simple calculator that will calculate the total revenue based on the total number of course sales and the course price. Now, I'm just using slider type of questions. So users can slide the slider uh, to let you know the numbers and then the calculator will calculate based on the formulas that you set in the back end. And I'm just using slider type of questions, but you can use any type of questions you want. Only thing is for calculations, only four types uh, are supported. So you can use single choice, multiple choice, slider, and yes, no type of question. So if you want to do calculations, you can use these four types of questions. But otherwise, if you just want to ask for more information, you can add all types of questions. Uh, but for calculations, it's limited to these four types. And you can see here it says, how does a calculator work? And you will find the details here. You can enter the question, description, and if you want to hide something, if you want to display an image, all that you can do here. So click to customize. If you want to change the colors and the range of this slider, click to customize and you can change, update the setting. If you want to add a prefix, you can do that. All right, so this is question one. How many copies of your course do you expect to sell each month? So that's the number here. Question number two is enter your course price. So this is a simple calculator. As I mentioned, it will just multiply question one with question two to figure out how much money they are going to make over a year, over two years, over three years. That's what this calculator does. So it needs the price and it needs the total number of sales. All right, so enter your course price. Again, this is a slider. So now let me add a new question and show you how this works. So say that you want to add a single choice question, right? The first two were slider question types. And so now say that you want to allow users to pick uh, one of these answer choices. So you can add as many answer choices as you want and you can give points. So say that you want to give five points when they pick this one, three when they pick this one, and one when they pick this one. So calculator will use these points for calculations. So depending on whichever they pick, it will use that number. So this is how single choice works. You can do the same thing with multiple choice. So in the multiple choice question, what will happen is here. So if users pick more than one, so say that you give one point here and two points here, and users check box next to both of these, then SQB will add up the number, right? So instead of one, SQB will add up one and two if they select both. So it will be three points uh, for this one. So this is how it works. So here I don't want to have other type of questions. So I'm just going to delete this and only question one and two. So I have just two slider type of simple questions, but you can always add other questions. Just remember that for calculations, SQB will only use single choice, multiple choice, yes, no, and slider and not the other types. So this is the formula tab. So this is where all the magic happens. 
So here you can see there are two questions in this uh, calculator, right? Question one, enter number of sales and number two, enter your price. You can use these questions in the calculations right here. So I'm going to create a formula, right? So I'm going to add this one. You can add different operators, for example, Q1 plus Q2, which means the response for Q1, whatever number that is, plus the response for Q2. So this will be the final number, right? So this is how the calculation works. You can see there are so many different options for calculation. For example, say that you use this one, if X or Y. If response to question one is less than the response to question two. But if you have a more complex calculations, you can do this. If response to question one is less than response to question two, or response to question three is less than response to question four. So if this evaluates to true, then whatever is after the question mark, that will be the final number. This is how this formula works. So there are so many different options if X and Y. So here you can see, I'm going to copy this. So if question one, response to question one is less than response to question two, and question three's response is less than question four, then 20, otherwise 10. So this is how this one works. And if statement right here. So let's copy this one. This is a simpler version of uh, and and or. So if question one is less than question two. So if so, if their response to question one is less than their response to question two, then the response they pick for question four will be used. Otherwise, their response for question three will be used. So like I said, you can do all kinds of different calculations, simple ones or complex ones. Here, this is a very simple calculator, right? So here you can see I have four different formulas I have created. You can create as many formulas as you want. As you add each one and you click on save, it will show up right here. I have added four of these. If you want to add more, you can continue adding more and click on save. It will show up here. And if you want to edit an existing formula, just click on this edit icon here and this formula that you have here, it will show up here and you can edit it, right? So I have four here. Question one times question two is the very basic one. And this is for the 12 month period. This is for two years and this is for three years. So I have four different formulas here. Moving to lead generation, users will see this after they answer the questions. All right, so the outcome screen, you can see all the formulas that you created in the formula tab. And you can use these formulas in the outcome screen. So you can see here in this area, this is what they're going to see after they answer the questions and opt in, they will be redirected here. And here I'm using this formula, formula ID three, which is formula number one. You can copy this and you can paste it anywhere you want. So I have pasted it here. So formula number two is for after one year. So I have copied this and I have pasted it here after two years and after three years, right? So I'm using all these four formulas to give them the final number. This is how you can use the formula in the outcome screen. So the final tab is the shortcode tab and you can just copy this and paste it on any WordPress page and that's it, right? So you have your calculator. So now let me show you the front end and show you how this works. This is how it looks in the front end. I'm going to click on this button, enter number of sales per month, expected sales per month, I'm going to set this to say 500 and next enter your course price. All right. So I'm going to set this to 30. So it's $30 and 500 sales. So it's 500 times 30. Next, I'm going to opt in here. So you can see 500 times 30 is 15,000. So your sales revenue, and this is monthly, is set to 15,000. Sales revenue after one year is 15,000 times 12, after two years and after three years, All right? So this is how the calculation works and really simple. This was a simple formula, but you can do all kinds of complex calculations like I showed you. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please do let us know. My name is Pina Prashant. Thanks for watching.